I'm packing because I'm moving to Montreal in September, so I'm just gonna start packing up all my winter clothes and tell you about my first kiss because it's fucking stupid. It's a ridiculous story. I'm just trying to get comfy for story time and I think this is the best setup for me. And we're gonna start with my ex-boyfriend's sweater. It's mine now, he gave it to me. So the story of my first kiss, I was 15 years old. Okay, I was a late bloomer, I think. I don't know how old most people are when they have their first kiss, but I I definitely had not experienced a lot of attention from boys. So I turned 15, right? And I'm starting to I'm starting to look well, I started looking like a woman honestly when I got boobs in like 6th grade, but I'm starting to fill out the rest of my body. The features of my face are really coming through. This sweater is impossible to fold, what the f So I was 15 years old and I was on vacation with my mother in Florida. And being on vacation with my mom at like 15, I basically always just wanted to watch TV in the hotel room or be at the pool. And so we spent a lot of time at the pool and there was a lot of um, pool staff there. There was a lot of people at the hotel, so you know, they needed a lot of staff. Uh, towel boys, whatever you want to call them. Pool boys, maybe. So, there was one particular pool boy that kept coming by us. He kept like passing by, asking if we were okay, like needed anything, and I'm just, I didn't think anything of it because I'm coming from somewhere of like never ever ever getting attention from people, and so I'm thinking like, I, like I'm not thinking anything. So my mom is like, Este, he's coming by here a lot, like too much. I think he's like trying to get your attention. And I'm like, mom, you're literally so annoying. He's not, I know he's not. And she was like, mm. she was like, no, I think he is. Anyway, so I was like, this woman is being dumb. There is literally no way this like, there was no way this older boy was looking at me because I still felt like I wasn't, I don't know, like I wasn't cute. He kept coming by. And then at a certain point, I'm like, a little bit of an inkling in me was like, oh, he kind of is like smiling a lot. Like he would always walk by and say like, hey ladies. And I'm like, okay, well that's a little bit strange, but I'm sure still nothing. Anyway, so one time I'm hanging by the pool for a while. My mom ends up going upstairs and I'm like, okay, I'm there for quite a while. I'm kind of keeping my eyes on him because at this point I think he's kind of cute. And I'm just like curious about about if my mom was right. But I don't do anything. And then at a certain point, I'm gonna go back to my room. So then as I'm leaving the pool area, I'm walking back to my room and the pool boy, he comes up behind me and he's like, hey, excuse me. And I was literally like, I turn around and I was like, oh my God, it's how, <laughs> she was right. Moms are right about 99% of the time. Um, yeah, so I'm like in my head, everything stops and I'm like, what the fuck do I do? Oh my God, this guy's about to like talk to me. And there's no reason for him to be talking to me right now. So he's a, he was probably into me and he works at the hotel. Anyway, so he stops me and he's like, he said something along the lines of, sorry, like, oh yes, okay, it's coming back to me, okay. But basically, so he stops me, the pool boy stops me before I leave the pool. And he's like, excuse me, um, sorry, like, I just, um, I thought you're really pretty and I uh, was wondering if I could get your number. And I was like, uh, okay. It's literally like, is there someone behind me? What's happening right now? Cause he, I'll give you a visual description. He was thin, tall, had a very like winning smile, like kind of cheeky and good teeth. And then he had really curly, kind of shortish curly hair. I don't know, it was like, he, and he seemed older. Like I could tell he was older than me. I didn't know how much, but I was like, he was cute. Anyway, so, so he's, so I start giving him my number and then he asks me how old I am. And I told him I'm 15 and he was like, oh, like he was, all surprised or whatever and he was like oh my gosh I thought you were like 17 or something he's like I'm 20 okay so he was 20 and I was 15 which is like 
a little, it's fine. But like also, but, um, so, but I was like, and so he was like, wow, you like look so mature, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> whatever they say. I don't know what that means. And I think, I think older guys, it's a thing they say to like when they're hitting on younger, younger girls. So I was 50, I don't know. So he was like, yeah, oh my God, I thought you were 17, you look so mature. So anyway, that was it. And he's like, okay, well, I'll text you. So I leave, go to meet my mom. I have to go get more clothing to fold. Okay, I'm back with more winter clothing. So anyway, he starts texting me and we're like flirting a bit and whatever. And he asked me out and I'm like, okay. And my mom was like, she was, at least from what I could tell, she was acting very fine with it. Um, I learned like recently actually, when we were talking about it, that she was not fine with it and thought it was weird, but she didn't want to like, she thought it would have been worse to interfere in something like that at that point in my life, like it would have really upset me. So her, you know, executive decision was to be like, okay, as long as it's like, you know, as long as I know exactly where you're going and what's going on and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, we meet outside of the hotel. He's taken off the pool boy uniform and he is, um, he's like, hey, he's very like, I don't know. I don't even, he was probably not suave or charming at all. And I just had no idea what it was like to be like flirted with. So I was like, anything will do. Literally anything will do. Um, so we go for a walk and he were just chatting and stuff. And I was so awkward. I was so, so awkward. So I do at least appreciate that he was very nice. He was like super nice and sweet and whatever. Um, and then he ended up like asking to hold my hand. Oh my God. I just had like a weird, a weird, maybe this is just my internal loser girl f background feeling like what if this was just all... What if it was like all a prank with his friends on me? Anyway, I, I don't think so, but I'll, you'll know why a little bit later. Okay, so we go um, on this date and he asked to hold my hand and I was like, okay. Um, and then we like sit down in the grass and then he was like, oh my God, oh, this is so embarrassing. We sit down in the grass and he's like, um, he somehow he discovers that I have never had my first kiss and he was like what and then he's like can I, I think he said something like like can he think he asked if he could and I was like okay sure and then we did have it and then I think probably the equivalent of me doing it was like this and then he kind of like, it was gross to me, honestly. It was not what I thought it would be. I didn't think it would be so like, I don't know. He was probably a bad kisser is my guess. But like after we did it the first time, he was like, okay, now like relax your lips. And I was, I was like, okay. So we kissed again and he, he did like tongue, I think, or something. It was just a lot grosser than I thought like kissing was. Um, I don't know what I thought it was, was going to be, but it wasn't that. And I was really embarrassed too. Uh, but either way, we had the kiss. And, and after he was, oh my God, I just remembered after we had the second kiss, he was like, he pulled back and he was like, much better. <laughs> it's so disgusting. Anyway, keep in mind, he's 20 also. He's a 20 year old. Okay, that's like good so um that ends and then he's still like texting me on the trip but we never ended up meeting up again but when i was doing stuff with my mom i was like feeling anxious and like wanting to like go out with him or something and we kind of like ruined other times with my mom but so it was kind of like i was feeling like stressed out when i was with my mom doing other things which kind of makes me sad but it's fine and then i saw him like laughing or t chatting with like the one of the girls who was like working there as well. And I, now that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, I wonder if that was some kind of weird freak dare, but I don't think so. I just don't think so. That would be like really weird to do that. You never know though. At a certain point I was leaving, I said, okay, I'm leaving, bye. And he was like, bye. And then I felt so sad that he didn't like say anything else to me or he didn't like profess his love to me because how could he not? I was like crying at the airport to my mom. I was crying, I was so sad. And I ended up sending him a text, so embarrassing. 
I've done variations of this many times in my life. This is probably the first. Ugh, so embarrassing. I sent him a text and I, it was very like mushy. Basically, like I said to him something along the lines of thank you so much for like sh giving me like the experience and blah and like I really appreciate it and like it was really nice meeting you and I hope you blah 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 and he was like he said like hey yeah it was great well too like bye <laughs> um and that was it that's the last time I spoke to him I did look him up on Facebook a bunch after, but he looked very different in his Facebook photos. Like he had big spacers and he was kind of like emo and he did not look like that at all when I met him. He also took um, selfies with an iPad, which I can say I've never done. But after the fact, like way after, I was talking about it with my mom at some point. She told me something so insane. She told me, um, that before he had even gotten my number, he, I, my mom was at the pool and I had left and gone to like take a shower or something. I went back to the room and apparently he came up to my mom and was like, oh, where's your daughter? And this was when she like, she knew basically that he was flirting with me. So he was like, oh, where's your daughter? And she was like, oh, I don't know. I, she went back to the room to wash her hair or something, something along those lines. And he was like, he said to my mother, he said, oh, she's so beautiful. She doesn't need to do that. What the fuck? What the fuck? Who says that? Oh my God, that is so gross. He said to my mom, she doesn't need to go wash her hair. She's so beautiful. Or uh, uh, <laughs> who says that? That's so insane. He's such an insane person. Anyway, after that, my mom basically got our room for free and I thought it was because someone some other worker at the hotel had like hit on her and done something weird and she said it was like that also because he did that but recently I was talking to her about this story and she was like oh no I had quite the word with the hotel about their staff hitting on my 15 year old daughter and yeah she basically got our our shit for free because honestly fair because that's insane also very cool mom of her to like as long as she knew that i was safe to be like okay fine you know i'm gonna i'm not gonna interfere in this because i know my daughter will fucking hate me if i do um but yeah i'm, I'm about to get that room for free because this motherfucker is a creep 20 year old flirting with my daughter on vacation and one thing i just like wondered that's why i was also like was this some kind of dare because i something i thought about over the years after this and i'm 26 now this is 11 years ago something i've thought about was why like what why did he why did this happen all we did was go on like an hour date, had a kiss, two kisses, and like I was a bad kisser. Did he, uh, he like wanted to teach me? And then like we texted a bit for the rest of my trip and that was it. Like, why did he do this? I don't know. Cause it didn't feel like to me there was a lot in it for him. Obviously like a pretty girl and he was 20. So he must've just been like either a loser kind of maybe or or i don't know maybe it was a dare <laughs> either way i had my first kiss and it was very memorable to say the least you know i'm glad that it was an interesting story but so much embarrassment that it was like my mother was basically a third party in this story and she was probably like what the fuck is going on but mothers are right because he was in fact interested in me. Bye. <laughs>